Histopathology of nasopalantine toxicist. Histopathologically, we are going to see about the lining epithelium and surrounding cyst wall or fibrous capsule. The lining epithelium of the nasopalantine toxicist differs. It can be stratified squamous epithelium, pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Usually, more than one type of epithelium is seen in one cyst. Stratified squamous epithelium is the most common and pseudostratified columnar epithelium is the second most common. Cilia and globid cells can be seen with columnar linings. The type of epithelium that is seen in the cyst depends upon the position of the cyst. Cysts developing within the superior aspect of the canal, that is, near the nasal cavity, are more likely to have respiratory epithelium. Those in an inferior position, near the oral cavity, are more likely to show the presence of squamous epithelium. Components of the cyst wall The cyst wall is also called as the fibrous capsule. The components of the cyst are helpful in diagnosis. Because the nasopalantine duct cyst is within the incisive canal, moderate sized nerves and small muscular arteries and veins are usually found on the walls of the cyst. Small mucus glands and hyaline cartilages have also been reported. Chronic inflammation causes the presence of lymphocytes, plasma cells and histiocytes. <laughs>